afternoon everybody uh it's connie from faf designs and i am showing you a slightly different view of my workshop today normally you've got a white wall behind but now we've got that so that's my one of my storage cabinets for dixie bowl paint so the reason being is because i'm working on this and it's a smallish chest so I've got it on my workbench, which has now been wheeled back to where it normally is because my staging area is basically has a piece of furniture that I was staging yesterday. So uh, it's kind of moved around a little bit. Um, so yeah, the lighting is slightly different to what I'm used to. Hang on, let me just, that might be slightly better. Like that. So say hello if you are watching. Um... I am going to be applying one of the new transfers from Dixie Bell Paint today, which is this one. Uh, so if you've been following, this is for my a commission for my friend who loves a bit of colour. She loves a bit of boho. She's in the process of um, basically redoing her whole house. And, and the theme um, in her sort of like living room area is crazy, crazy colours. Um, so she's seen this. She's seen the colours and I've also um, put a transfer on the other side of this, which is, it's very similar to this one, just a slightly different design, but it's in black. So, um, the base was some browns that was to emulate a lighter brown tone um, than the original finish, which was like a mahogany. Um, don't forget to say hello if you're watching. Don't leave me hanging without saying hi. Um, so the original finish was like a really dark, reddy, browny, not very nice. So we've um, layered some browns up uh, on top of that as a base coat. Then I added a layer of texture, which was sea spray mixed with fluff, which is a white in the Dixie Bell range. I added that on and, and for texture. Then I have basically each drawer has had a different colour on it. There's a couple of colours that were repeated. I think it was holy guacamole, just because it kind of worked. So we went with it. Um, so the colours that you can see here are Colonel Mustard, holy guacamole. This is a mix of Plum Crazy and Aubergine, because Aubergine on its own was a bit dark. Plum Crazy was a bit too pink. So I've mixed two to make a deeper purple and peony and the body of it is peacock which has all been distressed i've done that off camera because uh i basically i distress with my electric sander and it's noisy and you don't want to just see me going a lot of it i've done by hand so the details i've done with a sanding pad by hand um, but so, most of it was done with the electric sander. So I've done that off camera. That's the only stage of this that I've done off camera. So, um, I can't see any comments. Is anybody there? Let me see. I'm going to type because I know sometimes if I type something, it works, but it doesn't. So say hello. Do say hello if you're watching. Um... I don't know why it wouldn't be working. So today it's going to be a short live because my kids are due home very shortly. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to apply this transfer. So these are, this is called the Boho Soul Transfer. Um, and it's got four different sheets with four different designs on. So that's what it looks like. Obviously, it's back to front to you. Boho Soul. And there are four different sheets with four different designs. I wasn't sure how I was going to use it, but I knew I wanted to for this piece from my friend because she uh, she loves this kind of thing. And she did see it and said, I love that transfer. So I have used on the other side that piece. And on this side, I'm going to use this piece. So they're quite similar, but there are differences too. So with all of the Dixie Bell transfers, you can chop them up and um, use them however you like. So I am just going to trim this because there's a couple of pieces on here that I'm not going to use on this particular piece. These little ones. 
I'm not going to use those today. Although I might do her like a little Brucey bonus and um, maybe do her like a coaster set or something. Because she likes coasters. I mean, I'm not a coaster user, I'll be honest. Uh, I can see people now's names popping up. Just someone write me a comment. And just even if you just say hello. Because I can't see any comments at all. I don't know what is going on with Facebook. It's very odd at the minute. Well, it's always odd for me. So I'm just trimming the very, very top of this transfer off. Because there's like a white bit there. And I want to get it right to the top there. So I'm just going to trim this down. So I can tuck it up under the lip. Yeah, it's still so can't see any comments. So apologies if you are saying hi, but I can't see any comments. But I will be able to see them when the video's ended for some reason. I um I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Hopefully you can see that, and I'm gonna be able to show you what I'm doing without getting my big head in the way. It's reflecting the light a little bit, isn't it? Let's see if I can bring you a little bit closer. So in the tube, you get the instructions of how to apply transfer. You get this tool, which is what rubs the transfer on. So I'm going to put this pretty much central here. Um, and all of the transfers, you can go over edges of drawers and round corners. Um, they're really, really versatile transfers. I hope there's nothing wrong with my live and that you can all hear me and see me. So I'm just peeling the back in, which is the white piece, away from the transfer sheet, which is now clear. I'm just going to put that to one side. So you put the sticky side down. I'm just going to line it up the top of the drawers and tuck it right underneath that lip. Just get it where I want it, which is more or less central. And then when you're happy with where you've got it, you just press lightly, which then sticks the transfer in place. Right, let me bring you a little bit closer. I hope I haven't recorded this with no sound or anything silly like that. I hope you can all hear me and see me <clears throat> so that's stuck in place these transfers are really really good so if you do need to if you think if you look stand look back and think oh no i've messed up or it's cocky or one one end whatever you're very gentle you can pull them away and reposition them they're really really tolerable of movement once you've started to rub it with this then they're not you have committed when you when you use this but at this stage if I wanted to, I could peel this away and, and put it back if I wanted to move it. But I'm happy with it. The only thing that I've got to bear in mind is these drawers go all the way through. So there is no back on this piece. It's a piece that can be used either way. I think it might have been like a coffee table type thing. Um, so you can access the drawers from either side. So I'm just going to have to be careful. I don't push too hard and shoot the drawer through. So all you do with your little wooden tool is just rub all you gotta do rubby rub rub so i'm sorry if you've got any questions but i can't see them the comments are not working if you want to buy the transfers <clears throat> the link is in the comments in the description um, this is just one design of many that dixie bell have got I'm gutted I can't see the comments because that's what um that's what keeps me going chatting swipe left to reveal comments no this is there's nothing so sorry folks let me just see if I can type something again ah the back the comments are back. 
Hi, jo jo Jodine from Australia. Yes, you can see and hear me. Cheers, Gina. Hi, hello. I'm here. The comments are here. I had to type something and then they're here. How bizarre. Hi, Erin. Hi, it's very, very colourful. I must admit, the colours are a little bit crazy. Um, my friend is a little bit crazy, not going to lie. Um, so... <clears throat> She has seen these colours and I said to her, she actually saw them this morning. And I said, look, I've gone for what I think you'll like, but let me know. And she is the type of person that would say, nah, I don't want that colour, change it. But she said she loved it. So um, I'm happy if she's happy. <clears throat> Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hello, hello. I can see comments. I'm back in the game. Back in the game. I feel like I'm just talking to myself when I can't see comments. So, you just rub. And I'm not rubbing too hard because, like I say, the drawers go all the way through. So, if I press too hard, I'm going to shoot the drawer through. Uh, and that'll be a bit of a disaster. So, you can see here where it's starting to release off the backing paper. And all you have to do with transfers is just be super patient. Just keep going bit by bit. Work left to right, up and down. Just make sure you cover every single area. This transfer is quite detailed, so it has some really pretty curly swirly bits on the feathers. So just make sure you get all the edges and the corners. And like I say, it's not a problem at all if it goes over a draw corner side edge you can you can make it go around curves um hi from maine hi cindy hello yes i have um i will be uploading my lives onto youtube so at the minute there's only the base coat which is the browns on youtube which um which I've uploaded, but the, the one that I did the, the draw fronts on, uh, I'll upload as well. And then there'll be this one, which will be the transfer application. Then I've got to seal the transfer. Oh, and also what I spoke to my friend about was potentially working these into the design. So this is a um, this is the rice papers from also from Dixie Bell. Um, this is called feathers. You get three sheets in a pack, and they tile so you can make them a continuous pattern upwards and downwards or left to right. So the patterns match up all the way round, which is a really 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 good feature. So if you saw my parrot cabinet, I had to tile that, and the pattern continues and matches up. So these colours in here are quite similar to the colours that I've used. So we've got some mustard here. Um, we have purples, which are the purple tones down here. On the other side, one of the draw fronts is mermaid tail, which is that aqua colour. Um, and what else have we got? We've got some pinks over here. So I'm going to get a load more of these. Hi, Jerry. I'm going to get a load more of these. And I'm going to pop them as peekaboo drawers because I do like some draw side action. And she's going to come and she's going to cut all these out for me because she doesn't want them on a white background. She wants them on the wood. So she can come and do that. Hi, Bella. Um, I'm so sorry you've always missed my lives. So the time here is, I haven't got my watch on. It's just gone two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so... I'm just popping on. I haven't, I didn't actually know I was, um, I didn't actually know I was going to do a live today. <laughs> um, but I got up to speed with my work. So I thought I'll get this on and then I'll, I'll seal it over the weekend. Um, But you can always watch them on replay. The good thing about replay is you can fast forward them. Unmute me if you don't want to hear me. Yes, you can paint over the transfers. So this black transfer, there's quite a few. Um, there's a couple of pieces in this particular design. I don't know if you can see close up. This is the one that I've used on the other side. And this is the one I'm using on here. 
so you can colour these in if you'd like. So if there's any um, any pieces that you'd actually rather pick the colour out with, you can just take an artist brush and, and paint them. Or if you decide you don't like it, you can just give it a light scuff sand and you can paint over. Yeah, it's six hours, six hours difference, depending on where you are in America. I know some people have got um, like an hour's difference. Uh, five hours difference, sorry. I know my friend and the other another brand of asset I talk to a lot, uh, Chris Dorner, she's an hour in front of me. She's in Germany, so, yeah, it's mental. So you just rub, rub, rub. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. I'd normally rub harder, but I've got... I'm conscious that this drawer is just going to shoot out the other side. <clears throat> so all you're doing is basically rubbing the transfer to get it off of this shiny paper this the, the paper that it's on and you're transferring that onto your piece of furniture at the moment at this stage and if you want to if you turn the tool on its side can you see what i'm doing just to get it in the in the cracks and the crevices so just turn it on its side just to make sure it's got it good in the where the drawers are um, going over from the drawer to the to the main body of the piece back to the drawer again so you've got it in there and then <clears throat> you can start at the top at the bottom and you just want to start peeling it back slightly and if it's still lifting with the adhesive paper you haven't rubbed hard enough so you just have to be patient and do a little bit at a time and make sure that it's releasing. And if you find a bit that's lifting, so here, I don't know if you can see that detail, there's a light, tiny bit of the feather, you just place it back down and rub again. And then carry on peeling it. And just do it little bit by bit. Can you see what I'm doing? Make sure I've got no questions. No questions. <clears throat> so I can see a bit there that was not, not transferring. <clears throat> and I've left this drying for, well, it's been at least, it's been, how long has it been? I think it's been a couple of days now but you want to leave a good 24 hours between your final coat of paint and your um applying your transfers um just because transfers don't like moisture so when your paint is drying obviously moisture is coming out um you don't want that to to happen because it'll push your transfer off and it'll start lifting basically um, if you've used sea spray which I have then it's probably advisable to leave a little bit longer because that obviously thickens the paint and it can make the drying time of the paint slightly longer so maybe maybe leave that a little bit longer if you have got sea spray in like I have the good thing is the sea spray was done um, last week I think so that's definitely dry. Um, and I think I did the draw fronts. It must have been two days ago. Definitely, definitely wasn't yesterday because I distressed them yesterday. So it's just taken me slightly bit longer than usual to lift this off purely because 
if I push too hard, the drawer is going to shoot out the other side. I probably should have like masked, in, masked it so that it stayed shut. That might have been a slightly better idea. Normally I push on a little bit harder. But I know what will happen if I do. It will just shoot straight out the other side. So don't worry for now about the where it's going over the drawers from transferring from one drawer to the next. That's do that deal with that afterwards. So just get your transfer on. I can rub it harder on this because this is the frame and this isn't going to go anywhere. Um. Uh, Oh, you were, you were playing the duo. Yeah, th we didn't really do a lot in that, apart from talk. Um, oh, no worries, Isabella. You can always watch it on uh, replay. Yeah, the, the duo. It's going to be a weekly thing. <laughs> the silliness will continue. Um, going to be a weekly thing with me and Chris Dorner. So next week, it's going to be straight after my live on the Facebook, on my um, the Dixie Bell Facebook page. So I'll hop straight from Dixie Bell, straight over to Chris Dorner's Facebook page, where we will continue to talk nonsense. <clears throat> I've actually got a really sweet little project lined up for next week, actually. And I'm just deciding whether to put Would You Bend on it or a transfer or some of the silk screen stencils, or maybe all of it. Maybe all of it. And it's a cute little piece as well. It's not too big. So I'm hoping that I can do a few different techniques on it to show you. It's a really sweet little single bedside table, but it's a bit Frenchy in style. So I think we can go a bit, a bit Frenchy with it maybe don't know I've cleaned it and I've sanded it so it's ready it's ready to roll and I've got a few pieces of woodie bend so I might do that I might go with woodie bend we'll see or maybe not I'll probably change my mind about 50 times between now and then why didn't I mask the other side of the drawer shut so that I can press harder <coughs> what a fool I am that would have made sense. So you can see when you pull the backing sheet, when you transfer the image, this is completely clear. Is this the one you showed in your story? Yes, yes, the little bedside. It is, yes. Andy, I sent Andy on a wild goose chase with it a little bit. It was quite a long way away, but it was like 10 quid. <coughs> and the picture was awful. It was on Facebook Marketplace. Took a bit of a gamble. The place that it was, Andy, <laughs> he said it was a bit, it was a bit scary. It was a bit rough. Uh, he had a few funny looks. <clears throat> but the lady was lovely. She was really sweet. And, um, yeah, it turned out to be an absolute corker of a piece, to be fair, for 10 quid. It's a cute little bedside. And when the single bedsides, I quite like doing something a bit more adventurous. If it's a pair... I kind of feel like I've got to play it safe because it's got to fit in with somebody's decor, perhaps. But a single one, you could use it in a hallway or um, you could still use it in a bedroom. But because it's on its own, it kind of doesn't have to match anything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a transfer. Maybe I should. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to change my mind with it about 50 times. <clears throat> And I'm also doing this with my left hand. So I should have really put the camera that side so I could do it right-handed. But never go, never mind. It's, it's working off. Normally, <clears throat> like I say, it does not normally take this amount of time to get a transfer to stick. But I'm not 
putting on as much pressure as I normally would. <clears throat> and I'm very conscious that this has got a lot of dingly dangly bits that I don't want to miss anything. Oh, it's so satisfying when the last piece comes off. Da, da. So the, the, the sheet is completely clean. There's nothing left on there at all. And I'll put your square on. Well, square -er. So that's that. That is the piece. So the next thing that I do is either with my hand or a microfiber cloth or a finishing pad, which are from Dixie Bell. They're like the little um, scouring feeling pad things. Um, you can burnish this. So basically what you want to do is just make sure that that is really, really stuck down. So you can do it, like I say, with your finger. Um, where's my microfiber cloths? Hang on. Let me grab one. Oh. Avalanche. Something just landed on my head. The dog's trying to get under my tripod. Bella, go and lie down. Go and lie down. So you can do it with a microfiber cloth. Um, or the finishing pads, if, you, if you've got a finishing pad, you can either chop a little bit of that off, and they really do well for burnishing transfers, or you can do it with your finger. And just work your way over the entire piece, just making sure that that is well and truly stuck down. There's no pieces that are... <clears throat> Uh, lifting or anything that's been forgotten just wiping it over the entire piece like there there's a little piece so I'm just going to press that in and that's because that drawer is slightly out okay so what you next need if you do if you are having it over um over a drawer side that basically that piece is is joined still the pattern is still joined with a thin transparent layer of the film i'm just trying to find my knife <clears throat> which was here and now it isn't any questions any questions no questions oh hang on what was that uh what type of hardware hardware is in oh it's in my cabinet hang on <clears throat> my workspace is tiny i have to keep it quite neat all the time because it's quite compact so the hardware are these old sort of like rustic cup handles and then on the sides it's got these big old metal handles for moving it around so they're the original um that's those and my like i say my friend who this is for has seen all of this and she's she's cool with it she's fine she loves it so as long as she likes it i'm cool right i just need my knife no um <clears throat> Talk about not being prepared. I had it. I had it right in my hand. Where have I put it? Aha. Got it. Is the surface textured? Yes, it's slightly textured. Uh, you don't have to apply transfers onto, and that's another reason that it was taking a little bit longer to replace. Uh, place uh to basically lift off the backing sheet is because that this although i've sanded it it does hold a little bit of the texture still um but you can do transfers over curved surfaces flat surfaces slightly textured surfaces whatever you do it over if it's anything other than flat it's obviously going to take you a little bit longer and you're probably going to have to perfect your technique a little bit but yeah, it'd go over a curved surface. It will sit over this texture. It just takes a little bit more rubbing, that's all. 
Um, but you don't have to apply them to a dead flat surface. Um, so if you have like, um, if you have, I don't know, like a chest of drawers and it's like got a beveled, you know, it's got like a beveled edge. So it's either cut in or there's a piece of molding around the drawer, which quite often happens. The transfers will go over that curve or that, that sort of molding like brilliantly best the better than i've ever used on any other brand of transfer it just takes patience a little bit of time um a little bit of practice so yeah but like i say i'm not a massive transfer user but these transfers are fabulous so i've just got a sharp knife and all i'm going to do is slice that all the way down there there's a little bit there there is some here here And this will give you a really neat edge and it will make sure you can you can cut the transfer up first if you'd rather. So I could have cut this piece out and stuck that on, then this slither out and stuck that on. Then th if you prefer to work that way, you can do it that way as well. But this makes the pattern line up perfectly. This is how I find it e easiest to do anyway. So I'm just going to gently push that out and make sure... Yep, so that's obviously now been released from the rest of the pattern. So I'm just going to get my finger and make sure that that is tucked round. There's no sharp edges of the transfer, which will cause it to lift when the drawer's opened and closed. The same with, can I get to the mustard one? Yep. See how the drawers shoot through. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to curve that pattern round and make sure that it's all tucked around. And these transfers, the transfers need sealing, so all transfers need sealing. Um, you can do that with a wax or a clear coat. Um, yeah, I like it when they transfer on different drawers as well. Oh dear, what have I done? I've pressed something. Um, you, yeah, it just adds a bit of interest, doesn't it? It looks a bit more organic. Totally agree. Um, so that basically, is how you oh I was talking about sealing them. You can seal them with any of Dixie Bowl's top coats. So easy peasy spray wax, best hang wax, um, clear coat satin, flat or gloss. The only thing that transfers are not a massive fan of is gator hide. Um, they don't really like them, but if you are using gator hide on your piece, put a layer of clear coat on first, so either satin matte or gloss and then when that's dry put your gator hide over the top of that um they just gator hide just doesn't like just doesn't play nicely with transfers for some reason so basically that has got a nice sharp edge around the transfers um <clears throat> let me push this straw back out i've made sure the transfers are tight around the corners where I've cut them. Just run your finger around them a couple of times. And that is it. There we go. So that design is slightly different to the other side, but we wanted a bit of variation. We didn't want both sides identical. And I've done the drawers slightly different colors as well on both sides. So that's basically how you apply one of the new transfers from Dixie Bell. Um, I'm going to leave it there today because I've got, to, um, I've got to go and start getting the kids tea ready for when they come out of school. So I'm going to seal this. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it with clear coat satin, I think. I still don't know. Um... Oh yeah, that's okay, Isabella. 
yeah it's worth noting about gator hide it just doesn't play nicely with transfers um so i'm going to clear i'm going to clear coat this uh top coat this with clear coat satin i think and then i am going to apply some black wax and get some grunge on this so i'll do that I'm going to um, do that on a separate live. So hopefully that showed you a little bit about the transfers. And there it is close up. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. It's boho. It's feathers. It's colourful. It's all the things. So I'm hopefully going to be, well, I have got to now actually get some more of these feather papers. But I'll be continuing with it on, over on a live. And I'll be showing you how to decoupage these as well. So thank you very much for watching. Um, you've seen the other side of my workshop, <laughs> which is full of Dixie Bell paint. And uh, I'll catch you next week, probably. Take care. Bye-bye.